Hello everyone, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm Arif, your cloud learning journey partner. So imagine there is a solution where you can use AWS services for free. So you don't have to pay any money to use AWS services. Uh, so suppose uh, you have uh, started uh, learning uh, cloud computing, specifically AWS, and you get a lot of uh, knowledge uh, from the courses that you are uh, going through, but you need to have some hands-on experience too, because in the exam, you have to face uh, some questions which are scenario based. And for answering those questions, you need to have the hands-on experience what if i told you uh, tell you like there's a way that you don't have to pay any money to play around with this aws services and uh, you can uh, uh, spin up deploy some aws services free of cost and uh, you can get your hands-on experience for free without spending a single dime yes i am uh, telling and the fact so uh, if you watch this video you will know exactly like how can you uh, sign up for aws account and they use these services without paying any money i know when i was uh, a student uh, and i started to learn aws uh, then i really wanted to play around with the services to know more about the service of this work how to uh, merge multiple services together to come up with a solution but uh, i didn't have the money to spend that back then so uh, then i did some uh, research and found like uh, in aws there is a term called AWS free tier which provides us the uh, access of AWS services we can spin up the services we can uh, configure it without paying any money isn't it wonderful so after watching today's video you will have a complete idea like what is AWS free services how to use it and what we need to avoid to get any sort of charges uh, to our account uh, so uh, before I start the video I just want to talk a little bit about myself well I'm a I do have more than 10 years of experience in cloud computing and cybersecurity. I hold multiple certification in AWS, Azure, Google Cloud. Besides that, I also have CISSP and CSSP certification. So this channel is all about cloud computing, cybersecurity, and uh, IT quality tips. So if you're interested in this topic, this channel is definitely for you. I'm going to upload a tons of videos. So please, please like and subscribe to my channel so that you can see my upcoming contents. So without further delay, let's explore AWS free tier services so currently we are uh, visiting the AWS uh, official website and we are looking into this particular page for AWS free tier if you read it it is uh, like gain free hands-on experience with AWS product and services so the main purpose of having these free tiers is to get hands-on experience uh, um, on AWS product and services without paying any money which I feel a genius idea so there are three types of offers when we are talking about AWS free tiers. The first one is uh, always free. So that means whenever we sign up for AWS account, these services will always be free for us. Uh, the second uh, offer is uh, 12 months free. So uh, when we sign up for AWS account, from that time to the next 12 months, the services will be free. And uh, the free trials, uh, for uh, it's just for the free trials with some uh, uh, limitation that we're gonna get so that we can get familiar with all the uh, cool AWS services. So uh, let's try to explore a little bit more of uh, always free section. So here we are getting, if you see here, there are tons of services that we are getting as a free tier under the free trial and it will be free for us forever. So uh, first of all, the DynamoDB. So DynamoDB is more of a NoSQL database and here we're getting like 25 GB of storage for free. Um, then under uh, compute, we do have uh, the Lambda. Lambda is used for the serverless architecture. If we have some code we want to run in a serverless environment we can use it and under lambda we're getting 1 million free requests per month which is massive and if uh, we are uh, uh, looking into some other services like uh, Amazon CloudWatch we get 10 custom metrics and alarms for free so there are tons of free resources that are getting uh, under this free tier which will be free for us forever like it is CloudFront CloudFront is used for the CDN content delivery network so it's great um, for caching so this is the free tier and under the 12 months free we are getting specific services like EC2 uh, I have made the uh, videos uh, on EC2 a uh, few videos so EC2 is more of a like servers so EC2 stands for uh, 
Elastic Compute Cloud. So whenever we're dealing anything with servers, so we are uh, talking about EC2, and under this uh, specific free tier, um, we are getting 750 hours per month uh, for free for 12 months, which is great. And S3 is for the storage solution. Here we are getting 5 GB of storage, uh, standard storage free uh, for the next 12 months once I sign up for the AWS account. So this is an excellent opportunity for us to learn about this particular service. So here we can spin up for um, uh, EC2 servers uh, and it can run up to like 750 hours without paying any money so that we can test it. We can uh, create some uh, uh, architecture, we can deploy it, we can integrate multiple services so that we can pass a certification, we can get the hands-on experience and we will be ready for our uh, jobs. So then uh, we do have the Amazon RDS and Amazon API gateway so there are tons of services that are free and under the free trials we get more specific like more uh, powerful services here we get the machine learning service like SageMaker AI where we can uh, run our models uh, we can have our own uh, uh, models under uh, SageMaker for the machine learning and we can also have the light cell we can have uh, some other security services so it's a uh, tons of services all right so are you ready for the fun part of this uh, video so now I'm going to talk about like how we can utilize these uh, free tier services uh, to learn more about AWS services. So now you know like uh, which services are free and I'm going to add those uh, links under the video description so, can, so that you can visit those links and know exactly which services are free. So you can spin up the services, uh, try to configure some of this and get the hands-on experience which is very crucial as a cloud engineer. So... Uh, Suppose like you know what the services are, are free and how you can use the services to come up with some solution that will give you some hands-on experience about real project that I'm going to help you with. So let's start with EC2. EC2 stands for Elastic Compute Cloud. So my suggestion to you is that whenever you start to learn AWS, the first service that you need to learn is EC2 because it is an amazing service. It has a lot of features from the left panel. You can see it has a lot of functionality. So if if you know AWS EC2, this would be a very good uh, expertise uh, thing to have for you. So under EC2, what you can do, you can spin up a server. So remember one thing, whenever it's spin, it's spinning up a new server, so if I click launch an instance, uh, I just want to show you something very important. If uh, you really want to not uh, have any sort of bill under your AWS console, right? So whenever it's spinning off any service, the 722 hours that I showed you earlier, it's only applicable for this T2 micro because here you see it's uh, tagged as a free tier eligible. So if you use this uh, particular one, then you don't have to pay any money for the 722 hours. So keep in mind, whenever you're spinning up some EC2 server for testing, always use T2 Micro if you want to have the free tier flexibility. So here you can uh, spin up a EC2 server and under the EC2 server you can run uh, some uh, uh, website, some applications to see how things are working. You can set up some uh, configuration. You can uh, also try to check some uh, CloudWatch logs from the uh, EC2, uh, EC2 matrix. So it will give you a lot of handsome experience. So that's the EC2, the compute part. And the second thing I would definitely look into is the, RD, the database section. So whenever we're talking about database, we're talking about two particular databases. It depends on our uh, usage. So database, the first one is RDS. RDS stands for Relational Database. So any sort of uh, database that are related to uh, a relational uh, database level like uh, uh, MySQL, Oracle, or SQL Server, we are talking about RDS. So here we can spin up some uh, RDS databases and uh, remember again use T2 Micro as a uh, server that uh, where you're going to deploy this RDS DB because that's a free tier. So here you can uh, tr try to deploy some RDS DB, you can try to connect it from your EC2 server to get some hands-on experience 
experience that you can also be more confident about like how to configure an application and use a database in the back end to uh, have the more of a like two tier application functionalities and the same thing goes for the dynamo db you can uh, spin up some dynamo db table where you can store some data you can play around it so it's pretty cool like you're getting all of this uh, hands-on experience without spending any single time all right so then that's uh, the database section and the third the other service that i would definitely look into is the s3 s3 is a big thing in aws uh, ecosystem so um, whenever we are talking about any sort of storage solution we are talking about s3 so under s3 what we should do is uh, we should create new buckets and under buckets you need to uh, store some de um, some uh, some uh, files some objects so that we know exactly how it's working we can look into some other function of s3 like the lifecycle policy the versioning and also here another cool thing is that we can host an, a static website under s3 so that uh, we can uh, uh, deliver our uh, content uh, way faster and uh, very cost effective way so if you have all of this experience trust me you will easily pass your AWS certification and also whenever you will uh, sit for any uh, sort of job interview you'll be more confident to answer the questions because you know exactly uh, what are the services are you have the hands-on experience congratulations guys for reaching this far of today's video today i have talked about like how you can test aws services without paying any money so you can uh, get uh, your hands-on experience you can get your certification you can get ready for your uh, cloud job uh, interviews so now let's talk about some uh, major thing like th that we need to avoid to get any sort of billing under our aws console that's the whole point here we want to have the learning without spending any money right so the first thing that you need to do is you need to uh whenever you sign up for an aws account you need to sign uh, you need to configure a billing alert like you need to set a budget like uh if you uh, your AWS account goes uh, the bills to like more than like you can put any number like i choose like as our intention is not to pay any money i'll choose like one dollar so i'm gonna set an alarm like if my billing goes above one dollar i'll get an email uh, as an alert so if i do that then what can happen like if uh, by mistake if i use some services which doesn't fall under the aws free tier then we'll, i will get uh, email uh, just uh, uh, the exact moment so i can turn off the services so it's a protection that can help us to save our money and the second thing is that uh, we, uh, I will also just like every weekly basis we should also track the usage of our AWS free tier so from AWS billing console we can go to the free tier section where we can see the usage like how much resources we have used under the free tier and how much is left so we can uh, know exactly like which services we have the free limit and uh, how much uh, 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 allocation we do have to test it, test it out so that's also a good idea and also uh, please please like whenever you test something under AWS free tier as the for an example you have a spin up a ec2 server like t2 micro and you are done with your testing please please stop the service and uh, uh, delete it because if it's there then it's gonna charge you for the hours uh, so whenever you're done on the, the testing then you should remove the resources so that you next time when you uh, want to test something new you have the the, uh, the allocation that you can use for um, your testing so these are the some uh, these are some suggestions from my side if you guys have any question or any doubt related to the free tier please let me know in this comment section and i'm gonna answer in a very short period of time thank you so much guys for watching my videos it means a lot to me our comment is growing uh, very very fast that i'm very proud of um, the, if you found this video helpful please please like and subscribe to my channel so that you can see my upcoming contents well that's all for today have a great and wonderful day